What is up guys, Nord here with my newest career mode. I've been seeing a lot of career modes sort of been doing an art and, se art and center mod, shall we say. Um, I want to do things a bit differently. Uh, there is a man that I have supported for a long time, uh, ever since I was little and started watching Formula 1. His name is Luca Badoa. He is without a doubt the most unlucky driver to ever grace the F1 scene. Essentially, he now holds the record as 50 starts without a point. And the reason being for that is because he only ever drove for really shit teams. Uh, he started off in BMS Scooter Italia. It was a Lola chassis, and of course Lola, well known for their fantastic cars. It was dreadful. Probably the slowest car on the grid. Um, he did, however, manage to park it in 7th at San Marino in 1993, which I thought was quite impressive. Uh, unfortunately... This was when only the top six scored points, so he, if the points back then were the same as today, he would have 26 points, which would have been nice, but unfortunately, after his 1993 uh, spell, he went to join Minardi as a test driver in 1994, and Alberetto, who was then driving for Minardi, retired at 1995, so Padua took his seat. Uh... He did have a, he possibly had a chance in Adelaide, in Australia, but his car broke down. This is a race when seven people finished, and one of them was his teammate Pedro Lamy, who went on to score his first point, but Padua had completely outshone him throughout the entire season. 1996, he switched to 40. Uh, 40, if you don't know, collapsed at the end of 1996 because it was a dreadful car that would usually struggle to. F to pre-qualify let alone finish a race uh, he went on to after that he started to be a Ferrari test driver uh, basically creating the car that Michael Schumacher went on to win championships with Michael Schumacher himself even credits Padua as one of those people that if it wasn't for him testing and absolutely just spending so much time on the car to get every single second out of it Schumacher himself admitted he would not have been a seven time world champion so, 1999, Schumacher broke his leg in Silverstone. Badoa was expected to be promoted to the Schumacher seat, but instead, Mika Salo jumped in. <laughs> Which was quite bad for Badoa, considering he, you know, built, them, built a team, built a car that was fantastic for Schumacher to drive. Which even John Lacey himself turned the position down and criticised Ferrari for not letting him stand in. Uh, he was also, in 1999, he was at the European Grand Prix, which is one Johnny Herbert went on to win in the Stewart. And he was running fourth in a Minardi, which even back then was pretty impressive feat. And his car broke down with 13 laps remaining and he was sobbing at the side of his car. Which is totally understandable, really. After that, he retired from Formula 1 and went on to just keep on with the Ferrari seat, did a lot of Ferrari media events and August 11th 2009 he returned to replace Felipe Massa, obviously as you know Massa was injured in Hungary by Barrichello, uh, Barrichello's Bronc car which something came off of his car and hit Massa, so Bada ca Badua came in and replaced him but it was almost 10 years after he'd driven a car in anger and I can't even imagine how hard that must have been for Badoa to actually get to grips with. Considering he'd, he'd barely driven the car for a start, because obviously there was a testing ban. Uh, and it was also a track he'd never driven before, <laughs> the Valencia Street Circuit. And he was he obviously came last, three seconds off the pace of Barrichello in practice, 2.5 seconds down on Kimi, and... He was 1.9 seconds off in final practice as well, and he was and qualif he qualified again dead last, 1.5 seconds slower than Jaime Arasquari, who was 19th. Uh, he got fined a number of times because obviously there's a different rule in, of speed in testing compared to the race. Uh, a number of drivers defended his performance. Uh, I think he, because I was watching him at the time, I thought he did absolutely fantastic for a guy who'd never driven in ten, almost 10 years. Um, 
he unfortunately he got a great start. He was up to fourteenth in Valencia, and he got tapped by the then rookie Roman Grosjean. Uh, sent him right down to last, and he, he stayed there for the entire race. In Spa, he was expected to do a bit better on the mid. Uh, he span unfortunately on his last lap of uh, the first quality session. He avoided the accidents on the first lap, finished in fourteenth, lasted those to finish the full race distance. And at one stage did actually set the fastest sector time, uh, sector one in the race. And after that, he was replaced by uh, Giancarlo Fisichella, who, of course, at Spa scored second place in the Force India. Uh, and of course, just to be noted, Giancarlo Fisichella didn't even set, get any points in the Ferrari either. So... This is Badawa's return. He signed up for the HRT team because they're the only team that would take him. And I hope you enjoy. Get these changes applied straight away. Car to track. Move it, guys. first race. Don't expect to finish at the top of the order. Just try to pick up a few places and get a feel for how the car drives. Good luck. More importantly, have fun out there.
temperature zone. Tires are at optimum temperature.
temperature, brakes at optimal temperature. Nice overtaking. Brilliant. You're the fastest car on the circuit. You're coming up back. That's put some points on the board. First of the season. Brilliant result, mate. Just brilliant.